welcome back. Today I have a video that I promised in one of my last videos that would be coming up if you watched my Winners and Sephora haul. I will link it in the cards here. Um, I did mention that I am going on a no buy slash low buy. Um, the only reason why it would be considered a low buy is because I might run out of some foundation or concealer or powder between now and at least Christmas. And um, if I can keep it going longer, that would be great as well. As I mentioned in that video, we are planning on doing um, a larger scale bath or not bathroom, bedroom reno for our master bedroom. And so I need to kind of put money aside to that instead of spending it on makeup. Priorities, people. I know it's hard, but I gotta do it. So I am going on a no buy and other than getting like subscription boxes and stuff like that, um, I'm not spending anything else on makeup. <laughs> I'm going to be good. There is a reward at the end of this, a new bedroom. So that's good. Um, but I did kind of, when we decided that we we're going to do a renovation, I just kind of said, okay, I'm going to like have a last hurrah haul, so to speak. So, um, I went a little ham on Makeup Revolution or Revolution Beauty's website. And then I did put an order in with, um, Shoppers Drug Mart, but I used points. So this cost me about $15 just because I paid for the tax on it. And the other one was about 77 US dollars, um, but a lot of the stuff was on sale. So let me show you what I got. So the first store that I ordered from was Shoppers Drug Mart. And um, if you're not in Canada, you might not be familiar with it. Or even if you are, you might not be familiar with it. Um, Shoppers Drug Mart has optimum points and <laughs> you can earn points on different things if you have a so, um, master. For me, it does add up quite quickly just because I use my optimum card regularly. So all that to say, <laughs> it adds up and then I get free stuff. So that is my one exception to my haul as well is if I'm using a gift card or if I have optimum points and I can redeem those points, then I will allow myself to buy something other than like concealer, foundation and powder. Um, so I might be able to splurge once in a while. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> I mean, it keeps adding up or I could be good and put that towards actual groceries and save you more money. Uh, we will see how that works out. All that to All say, that the first things that I'm showing you are from, oh my gosh, <laughs> I got it. It did not fall on the floor, people, yay. <laughs> Okay, all that to say, all of the items in this blue box are from Shoppers Drug Mart and I use my optimum points to purchase these items. I think it came to $15 over and above the optimum points that I used and that was for tax. So let's dive in <laughs> and hopefully I don't drop anything. There aren't a lot of things in here. There's mostly lip products and then one eyeshadow palette that I did pick up. So I will just go through them. I've never tried a NYX Butter Gloss, so I decided to pick one up, and for who knows what reason, I am so bad at picking shades online, I thought this would be a really good color. This thing is bright pink, but it's a gloss. I wore it the other day, and it's fine. <laughs> it's not bad, and it feels nice. Like, this is, I'm glad I bought it now because it's summertime, um, but as a gloss, it shears out, and it looks really pretty on the lips, so I'm not mad that I have it. It's just definitely one I probably only wear in the spring or summer, but they smell nice and they wear nice. I mean, I can understand why so many people do like them. The next item I have is by Physicians Formula and it's one of their butter glosses. Um, I do have another one that came in the Casey Holmes palette and I really do like them. This is in the shade Pink Teeny. And it's this glossy shade right here. I just love how these were on the lips. I know some people aren't a fan of them because they can be a little messy. I don't seem to have a problem with it. And the shades I pick aren't super bold. So yeah, I don't know. For me, they're fun. They wear nice. They're comfortable. I like them a lot. Uh, next, I got two Rimmel Stay Satin Liquid Lipsticks. And I think I had seen Breakups to Makeup talking about these and Kristen talking about these and so that's why I picked them up because I really liked the shades that are here I have shoulder pads which is more of a I'm bad at, is more of a neutral color here and then I have yuppie so shoulder pads is slightly where is it shoulder pads is slightly peach and then I have yuppie which is a little bit more pink so I picked that up and then I do have, I'm wearing this now and this is because of Nicole Chantel. She was talking about these Milani bold matte lipsticks and I got the shade I Am Fabulous 
and I love how this feels on my lips and this is what it looks like it feels so nice on the lips I just I love a nice kind of creamy matte lipstick I think those are my favorite formulas all of these I have worn and I really like them I like the shades and I like how they wear the next item I picked up is by Stila and it is their happy hour eyeshadow palette and oh my goodness this thing is heavy it could be a weapon I'm not sure why it's so heavy but I mean it's luxurious that's for sure so it's got the traditional gold Stila kind of plastic packaging and then you have this on the back. It does have their name on the front and then you have a nice mirror here and then you have all your shadows here and these are what they look like. There are two shot two palettes. I'm not sure what the other one's called. This is the more cool tone one I went with because I really liked all these blues and purples. So it does have four mattes, four shimmers and four glitters in it. Um, I do like this palette. I just have a couple things about it. It is so heavy. Um, I really wish that it was a little lighter just because it's hard to hold it and do your makeup because it's heavy. It's got a nice mirror in it, but it just, it's hard to do. The other thing that kind of bothers me about it, which I like and I don't like is I like how they have the colors kind of laid out monochromatically a little bit, but <laughs> they have all the mattes together and then the shimmers are this one, this one, this one, and this one. And then the glitters are these bunch here. So just the way they're laid out is a little funny. They all swatch really good except for this one right here. This one I had a hard time with, with getting the swatch. Um, I did get it to build up and I took Mel Thompson's advice and I just used a spoolie and kind of scratched the surface a bit and then it came up beautifully. I had no problem with it. She was using it for a Natasha Denona palette. So I figured if she's using it on a Natasha Denona palette and she said that was like kind of, you know, you can do that. That's okay. And she didn't seem to have a problem with an expensive palette being like that. I figure I can't complain about Stila having um, a shade like that. But the rest of them are all really, really beautiful shades. Oh, what, what other one should we pick here? We'll do this one. So these are a few of the shades. This one here is a shimmer. The other three are glitters. Um, they work. They wear really, really nice. I really like the palette. It's um, It doesn't have a lot of mattes. It just has the four. But that works for me. I can do a transition. I can deepen my outer corner. I have um, a crease color and I have a matte kind of brow bone or setting powder in here. It works. I like it. Um, I think it was 68 Canadian. But I mean, when you get this, it feels like $68 worth of, of stuff in it. I mean, it works really nice. I just wearing it for the first time today and everything blended nice. I didn't have a problem with it going muddy or anything. Um, the only problem I did have was that one shadow kind of lacking a little bit of pigmentation but once I scratched it with the spoolie a little bit no problem at all and I didn't waste any product anything that came up I was able to use on my brush so don't mind that and it's a pretty palette I like that I got it I like that I got it basically for free I don't know that I would have bought it if I had to actually pay for it but it was one that I had my eyes on for a while so you know a little bit of a splurge for my last hurrah haul should tide me over as for for expensive palettes go. The other place that I bought a bunch of stuff from was Revolution Beauty or Makeup Revolution. I know a lot of people have a problem with their eyeshadows and stuff. Generally I don't, I usually like them with and have no problems with them. I can make them work. I really, really, really like their face products. Um, their bronzers, their blushes, their um, contour shades and their highlighters are fantastic. I haven't found a dud in any of those yet. So um, I did get some of those and then I got some eyeshadow palettes. Oh, a lot of eyeshadow palettes. But these things were on sale. Three things weren't and then the rest were. So, so the first item I have here in the box is this highlighter wardrobe palette and I think I got this for like here I'm gonna pull up my phone okay so this palette was eight dollars and fifty cents and if I'm honest when I first put this in my cart and when I ordered it I thought this was going to be like a face palette like with the highlighters and blushes and bronzers in it um it wasn't until I opened it up I'm like huh these look all like these look like they're all highlighters and then I read the cover highlighter wardrobe Leia yes highlighters that's why they look like highlighters and this is what it looks like inside. They're all really pretty. I, again, I really like their face products, so I don't have a problem having a good selection of them. Um, I'm, I don't know if you can tell, but I am wearing it right now. And I have this one on. I just kind of swirled it in the, in the pan. Swirled my brush in the pan 
together and put that on my face. So I can never have too many highlighters. Never thought I'd say that, but apparently I am. Here we are. The next item that I have is this blush palette and it is the Blush Goddess palette. And the reason why I picked this up is because I really like the softer colors here, mainly these two blushes and this one this one didn't appeal to me that much I have a lot like this but these two especially I don't have a lot in those shades um, or close to those shades and then all these highlighters here like they're just so pretty and this again, one was on sale as well and I got it for five dollars the next item I have is one of their renaissance lipsticks and it's in this really nice packaging and this is in the shade prime and this is just a normal bullet lipstick. It smells really nice. And the reason I got this is because I was looking up dupes for Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. And this was one that came up. So I did get this one. Um, I really like how it looks. I have no idea if it's actually a dupe for it or not because I don't own it. But I'm not mad to have this because I really like how it looks. was $6.50. Then I got this lipstick. And it's by, um, it's the Soph X Club. And this one was $3.50 and I got it and I'm like, huh, this looks like an awful lot like the one that I just got. So it's got the soap X on it here. Put it all the way down. And oh wow, this isn't good. So this is the soap X one right here and this is the prime one, the supposedly pillow talk dupe so they're very similar so I mean I'm not mad about that at all because I like the shade but I have one last highlighter and this is the strobe highlighter and this is in the shade northern light so this is northern lights here so I picked that one up and this one was also on sale oh I got this for free because there was deals like if you buy two of a certain price you get the third one for free or something like that so that one was zero dollars for me. These are the eyeshadow palettes and some of them, three of them I bought because I knew I really wanted them and then the other two I bought because they were on sale. So we'll start with the two on sale. The first one is the Makeup Revolution Eat Sleep Makeup Repeat Palette and this one was four dollars and twenty cents. Oh, I'm gonna lose. I have swatched these a little bit but that's what it looks like. It's nice and bright. Okay, so there's the kind of a shimmery green there's that yellow and this is more of a pastel red really nice they swatch nice again some people have a hard time with makeup revolution shadows I'm not one of those people I really enjoy them so I'm looking forward to using this I like and I the like the fact them. that they're separated I'm gonna take that out what do they call them the three looks in one palette so they have them separated by so you can do one look two looks or three looks kind of thing with it so they kind of make it a little bit foolproof for you especially if you're wanting to dabble in color and you're not sure what to pair with what they kind of make it easy for you in that way the next palette that i picked up is by iheart revolution and it's the mermaid heart palette and this one was five dollars and this is just a Leia palette all over, even if it's just shimmers and satins, that's okay. Uh, it's got the blues, it's got the greens, it's got some pretty pinks and golds, and I don't mind having this at all. Let's see, what do some of these shadows look like? There's some of the colors there. Again, right up my alley. I don't mind that there's no mattes in it. I can pull other palettes and other single shadows to make it work. Now, these are some palettes that I had seen on Instagram and knew I wanted to pick them up. So, I did. <laughs> the first one is the Makeup Revolution in Roxaurus Color Burst, Roxy Roxaurus Color Burst Palette. And it's in the same vein as like the Soap X palettes and with the shiny front. I love the teal color on it. And this is what it looks like inside. This palette was $15. This is really hard to do when you can't see because I don't have glasses or contacts on. So. And those are some of the shimmers and darker mattes. Um, pretty palette. The next palette is by I Heart Revolution and it is their Sprinkles palette. This is the packaging and I know some people don't like kitschy stuff like this but I do. I don't mind some of it. Again we have some bold bright colors. I'm not sure what's with me today but the packaging definitely matches what's inside that's for sure. And it smells slightly sweet, slightly makeup-y. 
And there we go. We got some shimmers going on. I think this might be an all shimmer palette. Let me look. Yes, this is an all shimmer palette. So it's all shimmers and satins. Again, don't mind that. And this one was $15 as well. The last item I have to show you is also $15. It's by Makeup Revolution. It's from their Wild Animal Palette Collection. And this is the Integrity Palette. And if you can guess, it is a zebra themed one. <laughs> which you would think black and white and kind of boring. This is the packaging. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's got like a, I don't know if it's coming through. It's like a blue green kind of lid underneath the white. So pretty. And then this, this is what I'm talking about. Deep saturated jewel tone colors. This is my palette. This says Leia, like all of these do to a certain extent, but this, I look at this and I'm like, Oh yeah. Like they are so pretty. Even this one like boring taupe color is gorgeous. Let's go with some of these more. And there's some swatches there for you. They do look a little bit bright and vibrant, but overall it is a very more, overall it is more of a jewel tone palette. And the one thing I like about this as well is, I don't know if you can tell there, the definition in some of these shadows, the pressing, the ones that have like the zebra markings in it are the matte shades and then the shimmers don't have anything. They're just a regular pressed pan. So it's easy to tell which ones are gonna give you that shimmer or that um, sheen to it and which ones are gonna be completely matte. These swatched beautifully. Like they just felt really, really nice. I'm really looking forward. I think out of everything that I purchased, I'm looking forward to using this palette the most out of all of them. And again, this one was $15. They did have, I think three in the set, but this was definitely the one that appealed to me the most. And those are all the items I picked up on my last haul. The, what did I call it? The last hurrah haul for Leia. This is going to have to satisfy me and I'm sure it will. I just have to keep reminding myself, look in your collection, see what you have and use that. Be excited by it. Cause when I do that, I am very excited. So thank you so much for watching everyone and sticking with me and you know, seeing what I picked up. So far I've tried a few of the items and I'm really liking what I got. So that's a good thing too. Let me know in the comments below if you picked up anything recently. Have you tried any of these items out? Are they any of these are any of these items things that you have been thinking about picking up? Let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know if you'd like to see a review on any of the items that I showed you here. Um, I'm sure if something is super good, you'll hear about it, or if it's super bad, you'll hear about it. But um, otherwise, for a general review, let me know what you're most interested in. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.